क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकीडा Hello friends in the previous lecture we have discussed about the general characteristic of interhalogen compounds and now in this topic we are going to talk about the molecular structure of BrF3 so what is the molecular structure of BrF3 this is what i'm going to talk about in this topic So friends before understanding the molecular shape of BrF3 we should understand that is what is the electronic configuration of the central atom so in BrF3 the central atom is nothing but bromine so that's the reason that for that we have the electronic configuration and we understand that is the atomic number of bromine is 35 so that's the reason we could give the electronic configuration as 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 4s2 4p 5 and suppose we can write it as 3d 0 also so in this case basically if we talk about the outermost shell the outermost shell is nothing but in ground state suppose if i'm talking about then we'll get to know that is the fourth shell consists of s sub shell as well as p sub shell but this s will consist of two electrons while talking about p sub shell it will consist of five electrons having that is two electrons in this orbital two electrons in this orbital and one electron in that is pz orbital while the d will have no electrons in it suppose if we are talking about the ground state so this was nothing but ground state and suppose if we are considering the excited state so therefore the excited state that is what i am going to talk about so in this case basically we have basically 4s we have 4p and we have 3d orbitals so in this case suppose if i am considering 4s so this consists of an orbital which consists of two electrons so those two electrons let me make it in this way i talk about that is the p orbital so this consists of p subshell consists of three orbitals and that is what i have mentioned over here and d consists of five orbitals that is what i have mentioned here but since we understand that is br that is bromine is the one that will occupy three fluorine atoms so as to form a molecule so for that we need three unpaired electrons and those three unpaired electrons we can't get in ground state we will get only one unpaired electron so one electron from the py orbital it will be shifted to d orbital that is 3d orbital and that is what we could get that is this pair of electron it will be as it is here while one electron from here that is py orbital it will be shifted to that is d orbital and here the remaining orbital that will be left out is one and here it was already so thereby we can find that is there are three unpaired electrons and this vacant orbitals that is what we have this incomplete orbitals that is what we have this will have a tendency to occupy three fluorine atoms thereby making the bromine to acquire basically sp3d hybridization and that's the reason we understand that is whenever a central atom undergoes through sp3d hybridization then the molecular shape is nothing but trigonal bipyramidal and that is what i'm going to talk about here so friends we understand that is the bromine atom it undergoes sp3d hybridization and that's the reason that the geometry that is what we could get is basically trigonal bipyramidal so among the three fluorine atoms one fluorine atom will acquire the equatorial position while the rest of the two fluorine it will acquire axial position so talking about this two vacancies so therefore this would be occupied by lone pair of electrons and this is it but talking about this lone pair of electron there will be repulsion between these two lone pair of electrons and that's the reason that they are acquiring this two lone pair of electrons they have acquired the equatorial position and talking about the other bond repulsion that is what we could observe we can observe that is a bond repulsion between a that is lone pair and bond pair so that's the reason this two are here but this is fluorine atom because of the electronegativity obviously this one will basically bend a little bit and that's the reason the structure that is what we could get is br this is basically a bend t shaped molecule and this is what i was discussing about that is brf3 is in fact a bend t shaped molecule and that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe ekita channel thank you so much